diaper, 53 years old. And how long have you been a diabetic? 10 years. Showering is the one thing you can't get the foot wet because it's an open wound. Bacteria can get in there which can really cause problems or cause another infection. So I've had to change some of those habits. I've had to, I have diabetes, diabetic shoes and um, they're good for walking. They're great for that, but as I said before, the um, open wound, the ulcer, is not really responding to any conventional method, any conventional treatment. It varies. Depending on? Carbos, carbohydrates. Okay, how often do you take the insulin a day? That also varies, but at least three times. Well, they were giving me different prognosis right now. They want me to look at or go to an orthopedic surgeon. And uh, basically, they've just been trying to use conventional treatments and antibiotics on it, which there has, there has been a response, but then it hasn't been working. And how long have you been getting, getting this type of um, treatment from these doctors? A year. And no response? Pretty much. No. Right now, my foot is the main problem. Which, just one or both? The left foot, the uh, baby toe on the left foot. Okay, so no problems with your hands? Like that. There's some numbness in my hands, but nothing compared to uh, what's in my feet. Okay, so by numbness, does that mean you don't feel anything? Do you feel any type of tingling or anything like that? Bef mm -hmm. I'm talking about before you receive the treatment today. What what type of feeling? In my feet, there wasn't. There's no feeling. So you can touch carpet. You can step outside. You don't feel anything. Right. And as of right now, what do you, what, how is your foot feeling? What do you feel? Well, it's, like I said, there's some areas that are, that have feeling, more feeling now. But since I just received the procedure, like not even an hour ago, I'm waiting to see. <laughs> numbness, numbness, no feeling, and right now I'm experiencing some feeling in my, in uh, parts of my foot that I haven't experienced before for a while.
right now, what do you contribute that to? Uh, the treatment that I just received with the T-cell. The T-cell accelerator? The T-cell accelerator. Okay. It seems to have given me, like I said, filling in areas before that I didn't have. And it's still early yet, so. Because you just had this treatment in the past hour. Hour. And already you're feeling the difference. Right. It's better. It's much better than it was. I can wear regular shoes now, but I prefer to wear the diabetic shoes. But as far as the healing goes, the help the um, wound itself went through the toe completely. It went from the outside to the inside, mm -hmm. and the inside uh, it healed first, which was really, really what. Um, the results I was hoping for. Mm -hmm. And that healed first and then the outside healed. And so now I'm able to wear normal shoes if I choose to. face possible amputation. They were talking amputation. Okay. And what is your pro prognosis now since the treatment? All right now the uh, progress is, I mean the prognosis is good and I just have to keep an eye out on my foot, make sure that um, I do wear the proper shoes and that socks, things like that that I put on my foot, everything has to be really clean. You don't wear dirty shoes and things like that. So the prognosis is good. Well the doctor told me that the foot was healed and he was um, surprised but happy that it had healed without having to do the surgery. So they they are um, still following up on the progress of my uh, foot. some sensation in my uh, toes and before I had none. I couldn't feel if I just ran my hand across my foot. There was nothing there. It's just like me rubbing on this table. But now I do have some sensation in the toes. And just in a roundabout time frame, can you tell me at what point from the date of treatment that you started having sensation back in your foot? Probably about a month after the treatment. And also the areas around my toe are very dark and the skin color is coming uh, back in the regular toes. This one probably will always be a little discolored, mm -hmm. but at least it's healed. So was the total foot numb including part of the leg or was it just? The toes. The toes? What about the other foot? Was the other foot numb as well? Or mm -hmm. is that?
Is yes. It, is it still no? Yes. You have no feeling in that one at all? No. Okay, just the one that we treated. Mm -hmm. What do you contribute the change to? Probably the T-cell accelerator has uh, been one of the biggest helps. Because all of the antibiotics and everything else that they've given me over a year did not help close the uh, that wound. But the T-cell accelerator, after uh, taking that, the outcome is good. Would you recommend this treatment to anybody else? I would say that it was worth trying, especially if other conventional methods haven't worked. This is a treatment that is, is new, but it works. It seems to work. At least it has worked for me. And I would recommend a person try it. Each individual is different, but if you try conventional methods and they haven't worked, then try for yourself and um, because the only thing you have to lose is your toes and fingers and feet but uh, try the met you know try this method simply because it has worked.